Hey guys, Izzy here, back with another video, and uh, today we're just going to be using the same team as we used in the last video with Cernius. Uh, I, of course, did make a couple of changes, not really major or anything like that. I just changed Mystical Fire to Shadow Ball and uh, changed the uh, Sludge Wave to Sludge Mama and Landorus, so pretty much still the same exact team that we were running. Um, I did a, a couple of matches before this video as well just to test out the changes and it did well so yeah let's just go ahead and just jump right into it of course guys if you do like this content feel free to leave a like and subscribe because uh, i do really appreciate it so all right so we're gonna be phasing off against a a pretty good kyogre team um this is the uh second time that i just third time actually that i've seen ditto uh, versus me uh, the other matches were off screen so pretty uh, funny that Ditto's picking back up in popularity of course it is great against Nicernius but anyways let's go ahead and just see what we can lead off with here so I'm thinking Rillaboom and Ndidi honestly there's nothing actually on his scene that stops my Ndidi so that's great so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna lead off with these two I'll have Cernius in the back, and I guess that for the last Pokemon, I could either bring Eliki. This is, uh, this is the Dark Roshifu, so, uh, I could run Bulgarona. Because the only bad thing, I guess, maybe is, like, Tornadus and, um, well, I think... Yeah, I'll go with this. I'll go with this. So that's fine. That's perfectly fine. Uh, what I can do here is I can go for the fake out onto the uh, thing here, and I can actually dazzling gleam. Uh, I would ex I would expect this thing. Well, actually, wait. Okay, so this thing is actually um, the water type of Shifu. So what we could do here is we could actually just go ahead and fake out, and I can go for the uh, expanding force onto. Honestly, I could do this, yeah. yeah that's fine. Because Surging Strikes is going to KO my NDD, but that's totally fine by me. Because now what we could do is I could actually just go out into my Cernius. And I could Grassy Light onto you and actually Geomancy. Because I would expect him to actually still want to go for the Tailwind. Yep, that's right. And uh, this just helps me out and... Uh, He's going to do some damage, of course, to my Cernius. Still totally fine by me. Um, I don't think I'm going to be faster than this thing, though. So what I can do is I can just go for you, and I can actually just... Hmm, let me see. Because I could do... I could do this... Actually, Moonblast. Well, the thing is, actually, because I don't want him to get a switch out here. What I'll do is I'll I'll target you and I'll protect. Yep. Oh, crap! I forgot about <laughs> the uh, ability there, but that's fine. That's fine because now he can't actually um he can't actually go out into the Ditto. Well, I mean he can't, but. He'd be risking, um... Yep, now he goes out into his own ditto. He could go for the fake out, which is fine. I am just gonna go for this, and, uh... I guess what I'll do here is I'll go for... Hmm, let me see. I'll go for the boom blast. Grassy Glide goes... Grassy Glide actually KOs, wow. Well, that's not good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Uh, cause now... Well, actually, it's not terrible. It's not terrible, it's not terrible. So what I can do is I can grassy glide onto you and um <laughs> uh, I can struggle bug here. I don't think you've lost yet though. Unless he uh Yep, he hasn't lost just yet. So let's see. 
But you turns on to my Rillaboom, that's fine. That is a good chunk here. I can just Grassy Glide again. And, uh, let's see. How much does that U-turn do? I could Rage Powder here. I don't think water is going to kill. Let's see. Oh, nice. <laughs> and burn bodied. Yep. So now I can actually just go for this and I can protect. Well, actually, hold up. <laughs> nah, you don't. You're still you're still winning. I don't know why he's so mad. Uh, I can just go for the grassy and uh, let's see. I can protect. If I win a speed tie, then I win. Okay, I so I won. Uh, <laughs> la mau. <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> Ah, these are the matches that I'm glad I'm recording. <laughs> uh, good game, good game. <laughs> Alright, so now we're facing off against Aluia here. And uh, let's see. <laughs> it's, it's so funny. Uh, alright, alright. <laughs> let's get um, Let's get serious here, come on. <laughs> so, we're facing off against the Luigi team. And um, I'm, I'm assuming he's going to lead off with the Grimmsnarl. Uh, I think what I can lead off with is I could actually go out into the the Rillaboom. Actually, that's not even that great of a play. Uh, I think what I want to do is lead off with the Cernius right off the bat and have uh, Indeedee. And I can have... Oh, let's see. For the rest of his team, I could run Eliki in the back because I definitely kind of need it. And I could run, I could run Volcarona. I could run a Volcarona, or I could, uh, or I could run uh, Landorus. Which would be better? Rona doesn't really do that much, but it does lower uh, special attack, and uh, it provides me with something to do against the uh, the Rillaboom. So I'm gonna lead that. Yeah, I'll be fine. Okay, so he does lead off with these two. That's fine. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and Geomancy right off the bat, and I'm going to go ahead and go for, uh... Actually, I kinda want a trick here. Oh man, I actually kinda want a trick here. Um... Who do I trick, though? I kinda want to lead, uh... Trick the, the Luya. <laughs> Let's go. Nice. All right, so we Geomancy up, and um, now we can just go for uh, Moonblast onto the Grimmsnarl, and we can actually just go for a... Uh... We go for Dazzle Gleam. That's fine. Uh, that's not fine. <laughs> uh, that's totally not fine, but that's, f that's kind of okay. What did I get from... It's weakness policy. Okay. Well, I guess what I can do is I could just switch this as well. It's gonna fake out. Okay. I get rid of your assault vest. And what I'm gonna do now is I am just gonna go ahead and uh, dazzling gleam. And well, actually, I don't have to dazzling gleam. I can just move blast here, and I can just. Absolutely. That does a lot of damage. Alright, so I can take down the landers, which is great. And uh, now, that grass glide did a lot of damage. I definitely need to uh, keep that in mind. Uh, what I can do here is I can just go ahead and... Uh, I can switch out. I can switch out. Yeah. I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna protect and switch out. So, protect those off. That's great for us because we do, we do get some recovery off as well. And um, 
Luya isn't really doing anything to bolt Corona, so that's great. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and just target down this, uh, this Rillaboom. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and Rage Powder here. Even though that doesn't work for some reason, I kind of thought it would, but we do get paralyzed, unfortunately. Uh, we protect- what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna protect here, and I'm just going to, uh, struggle book. I kind of forgot about <laughs> Rage Powder not working on grass types for a moment, but that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, so, unfortunately, we are kind of going to lose our Bull Corona here. Uh, but we're going to do a... Uh, we're going to do a lot of damage here before we leave. I'm going to Rage Powder again. Hopefully, I don't get uh, paralyzed. Uh, that, that para was definitely very unfortunate. All right, nice. So there we go. And what we can do now is we could actually go for Reggie Eliki. He's gonna go out into the Rillaboom. That's great for us because now we can just actually hold up. How much is Aeroblast really gonna do to a plus two? The yeah, I don't think it's gonna do a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to. I'm going to Moonblast the Rillaboom, and I'm going to go out into the Indeedee. Yeah. Nice! I, I don't know if that crit mattered, honestly. There wasn't any light- the, the light screen wasn't up. And he forfeits. So yeah. <laughs> uh, that was GG. Uh, he probably left, okay. It's whatever. And, uh, let's get another battle. Uh, what is this been, uh... This is the third battle, right? Yeah. Um, let's see here. So, <laughs> what is my opponent's team? <laughs> what am I seeing right now? Are we gonna get annihilated by this team? I'm pretty sure, but let's see. Sorry. <laughs> Alright, so... Hmm. Taking a look at this guy's team... Is there any reason not to lead Cernia's Bull Corona? I don't think so, really. But actually, I'm not gonna do that. that that'd be crazy. Uh, I'm gonna lead off with the uh, Landris and the... Uh, maybe the Eliki or the NDD. Actually, I think the, the, the Rillaboom is probably the best bet to lead off with. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I'm gonna have Cernia's in the back. And for the last Pokemon, more than likely, it's going to be the Reggie Eliki, right? Actually, Bokorona is really good here, in a way, right? Kind of. Question mark. Hey, Bokorona is fine. All right, so. At least with these two. It's not great for us, but it's not terrible either. Uh, what we can do here is we can actually Earth Power. And uh, we can actually... Um, we can actually fake out the Sashian if he stays in. Uh, which he does seem to stay in. He does protect, that's fine. Uh, we can actually just go for this. And um, I'm inclined to switch to the Rillaboom, but I'm kind of scared. Because this, this Zapdos is about to actually like send us to another planet. Um, so I'm actually kind of curious to switch into the, uh, Bull Corona here. And potentially take a hit. I don't think I take a hit, though. <laughs> Not at all. But we can... Well... Uh, Jolo. Yeah, Behemoth Blade KOs. I, I don't know why I didn't think about that. But we can go out into this. And what I can do is I can actually protect and go for the uh, Fury Dance. I'm fairly confident that I can take a, a hit from Sapdos. So, yeah. <laughs> this is a 
a GG. <laughs> I can't actually do anything here. Uh, so I'm just gonna forfeit. Yep. Um, what I should have done... Uh, well, I mean, I wouldn't. I didn't think he would actually protect, right? Uh, but I guess I should have played for that protect and actually went for the attack. Because that, that would have been probably the only way I would have won that match. Um, but let's get one last battle. <laughs> But yeah, I think that if I were to have protected with the Bokorona and went for the Moonblast against the, uh, the Sapdos, maybe we would have had a chance. Maybe. Not 100% sure, but it, it was there. Um, Alright, so we're facing off against another Kyogre team. And let's see, let's see. I kind of want to lead Indeedee. Because there's really nothing stopping my Indeedee here. So I kind of just want to lead Indeedee and Regieleki, maybe? Or actually, I could lead Volcarona and Rillaboom. KO the Winsmacott turn 1. And we can kind of go from there. Or I could lead Rillaboom and Cernius. Yeah, those are good. That's a, that's a better option, honestly. I'll have Volcarona in the back. And I'll have Indeedee. Yeah. I think that's good. Because this way, um, this way, uh, I ensure what I can do here is I could bulk, bulk Corona here and I could just Geomancy. Well, actually, actually, I could just switch the bulk, into the Bulk Corona and protect. Actually, you know what? We're gonna fake out. And, uh... We're gonna Geomancy. Jolo. Fake out here. And Geomancy up. And gone is the Rillaboom. <laughs> uh, that's fine, though. Um, what I can do here is I can actually just go out into the NDD. And, uh, I can actually just go for uh, full expanding forces. There's nothing really changing the terrain now. And nothing really stopping me from not doing this. And I'll go for the, uh... Well, I could actually just, um... I could Dazzle Gleam. That's fine. I don't know if Entei's gonna be able to KO us. No, not at all. Yep, there we go. And now it's up to his Sapdos and more than likely the Kyogre. What? Alright, so he didn't bring uh, the Pokemon that I thought he would. I'm honestly a little bit shocked. What I don't know is 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 if I if I don't know if a double up KOs my Cernius. It probably does. So I kind of want to protect. Let them KO my Bull Corona, and let's just kind of go from there, maybe. I'll definitely fuck it. Yep, that doesn't KO. That's perfect. Let's go. Now, Expanding Force is going to KO the Sapdos, and we have ourselves a good game. GG. So that makes up for four games. I think I'm going to end it there, even though it's a little bit shorter of an episode. I personally think <laughs> with kind of like the shenanigans we had in this mat in this, uh, in this recording... It's, it's good enough, but uh, yep, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe for more content. I, I will be trying, like I said previously, to upload weekly. Um, I'm also going to be doing some streams, maybe streaming, maybe something like Genshin, Pokemon maybe as well. I mean, I already do recording for Pokemon, so, um, or even Warframe. Uh, I haven't played in a while, so, but yeah rambling on uh i hope you guys enjoyed and the uh, pace of the team is going to be in the description as always and uh yeah if you guys have any feedback on anything you guys want to watch or maybe something that you guys think that i should change on the team feel free to leave it in the comments below and i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and uh later <laughs>